in art history, what gives power to the female mute? What stops her being ultimately vulnerable and passive? Think of Titian's Venus Verbena. So she's, she's a seemingly passive and vulnerable mute, but she's doing something. What's she doing? No, she is doing that. She is doing that. But what else is she actually doing that can be seen as active? And 
Bananas and plantains originate in Southeast Asia. But their introduction to Europe, and I do have a guess, when do you think that Europe first started eating plantains and bananas? Yeah, you'd think it was some, probably in the 19th century, um, even later. Uh, surprisingly not, actually. The first time the banana gets introduced to Europe is actually during the Indian campaigns of Alexander the Great. So, in the 4th century BC. And so here we actually have a classical connection in a really unlikely place. So a fruit that seems exotic, out of place next to a classical torso, has links with 4th century Greece. And so ultimately, what I want to suggest with this painting is that on an initial reading you see something quite jarring, a discontinuity between past and present. Whereas my suggestion is that actually there's a message here of continuity rather than discontinuity. So even in this age of modernism where there seems to be so much rejection of the past, where the way that we see the past is damaged, it's fragmented, it's got no head. Um, actually, there's still, there's still continuity. The tradition continues, but just in new forms.